reception. Here we go again for another number job. Are you ready to count with me? Are you sitting up nice and smart, ready to do your counting? Here we go, all the way from zero to 10. Can you show the numbers on your fingers as you count with me? Are you ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Can you show me going backwards on your fingers? Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. I'm going to show you a number on my fingers and see if we can count on from that number today. Ready? The number is five. Excellent what we are thinking about this week. Five. Let's count on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. This time can you count on from... Seven, here we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fingers on your hands. Right, this time I'm going to show you a number on my fingers and see if you can count backwards with me. Are you ready? Here we go. The number is nine. Well done, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and zero. Brilliant counting. Are we ready for our dots activity? Because you are getting so good at this. Here we go. Are you ready? How many black dots can you count? How many black dots? One. Good. Can you show that on your hands? How many red dots can you count? Four. Can you show that on your hands? So if we've got one black dot and four red dots, how many all together? Five. Brilliant. Let's have a look at the next one. How many black dots can you count? Two. Can you show that on your fingers? How many red dots can you count? Three. Can you show that on your fingers? How many all together? Five. Well done. Let's have a look at the next one. How many black dots can you count? Four. How many red dots can you count? One. How many all together? Five. Excellent. Let's have a look at the last one. How many black dots can you count? Three. Let's show it on our hands. How many red dots? Two. How many all together? Five. Excellent. Right, I'm going to show you those dots on a plate and see if you can count them really fast. Here we go. Ready? Five. Well done. Four. Well done. One. Excellent. So fast the plates have gone flying across the other side of the room. Are you ready to warm our brains up with our more and fewer activity on the dominoes? So let's see if you can point to the side that's showing more. Which side is showing more dots? Yes, three is more than one. Which side is showing fewer or more they're showing the same remember if it doesn't show more on one side or less on the other side they're both the same the same equal to each other which side is showing less which side is showing less excellent the side with no dots showing zero and one more which side is showing more 
Yes, the side with five dots, five is one more than four. It has the extra dot in the middle. Well done, excellent. So that yesterday, can you remember what I had in front of me yesterday? What did I have? Did I have dogs? No, did I have dinosaurs? No, did I have cubes? No, but, but boats, excellent. I had boats out in front of me yesterday to help us with our number bonds to five. Today, we have a garage. We've got a garage and some cars. How many cars can you count? How many cars can you count on the table today? Ready? Shall we count them together? One, two, three, four, five. We have our fabulous sports car. Brum, brum, brum. We have our post office car. He takes all the letters and posts them through our front door. We have our bakery shop car. Mmm, bakery and cakes. We have our ambulance car. What sound does the ambulance make? Well done. And the fifth car we have is an ice cream truck. Oh, I wish it was full of ice cream. My favourite is mint choc chip, the green ice cream. I wonder what's your favourite ice cream? Mm. Right. So, some of the cars are out of the garage. And some are going to go in the garage. So remember, just like we did yesterday, you've got to remember to play the game and close your eyes. It's no good peeking. Close your eyes. And I'm going to put some of the cars in the garage. And then we've got to try and work out how many cars are missing. How many cars are hiding in the garage. Are you ready? Here we go. Close your eyes, keep them closed. Keep them nice and closed. Right, open your eyes. Ooh, so we know we had how many cars all together? Five. Which car is missing? Can you work out which car is missing or how many cars have gone missing? How many? Well, how many have we got left? Let's look at how many we have got to see how many more we need to make five. Are you ready? So we've got one, two, three, four cars in front of me. Can you show me four on your fingers? Right. We know to show five, we need to have all of our fingers up. So how many more do we need to put up to make five? How many more? So one, two, three, four, five. One more. One more is needed to make five. Can we write that together as a number sentence? Here we go. Just to check we are right. We've got four cars out of the garage and we think that there is one car in the garage. So four, and then when we get one more out of the garage, that will equal five all together. Okay, let's see if we're right. I'm going to go in the garage, climbing up the garage stairs. Here we go. I can see a car. I can see one car. I think we were right, boys and girls. But before I bring the car out of the garage, can you remember which car it was? Which one is missing? It's the sports car. Meow. Here it 
comes the sports car was missing and went in the garage so now we had four we bring one more and all together we have our one two three four five cars back right are you ready to close your eyes for another one here we go close those eyes close those eyes keep them closed right open them up right so how will we work out how many cars are in the garage what do we do let's start by counting how many cars we have already one two three okay so we have three cars in front of us how many fingers are left down that we need to add to make five so how many more fingers will I need to put up to make five so we've got three, then another one, if we add one more, that would make four. If we add another one, one more, that will make five. So we have three cars, we need two more to make five. Do you think that would be right? Shall we write our number sentence? We've got three cars out of the garage, and we think that there are two cars in the garage to bring back to make five <gasps> right can you remember or can you guess or think which cars they were which cars have gone missing we've still got our bakery car we still got our ambulance and we still got our ice cream truck which ones are missing are you ready? Here they come. Yeah. It was the post office car and our sports car. We had three and two more came back. So all together we have our five cars in front of us again. Right. I think we should have another go and try this again. I'm going to rub out our number sentences. Have I got a rubber? Here we go over here so that you can see. Right. So this time, close your eyes. Let's see how many are going to go in the garage this time. Are you ready? Keep those eyes closed. Keeping them closed. Right. Open up your eyes. <gasps> Boys and girls, how many cars have gone in the garage? <gasps> how will we work out how many are hiding from us? Right. Well, if we've got two cars already, we need to work out what number we add to two to make five. Okay, so we've got two cars, two. How many more do we need to add? So how many fingers are down? Count how many fingers you are holding down to see how many more we need to add. So we've got two. If we add one more, we would have three altogether. If we add another one, we'd have four altogether. If we add one more, we'd have five. So how many fingers do we need to add to make five? Three, well done. So we've got two already. So now we think that there are three cars in the garage that we need to bring back to make five. Can you remember what cars are missing? Can you think what cars are in the garage? We've still got the post office car and we've still got the sports car. Which cars are missing? Are you ready to find out? Here we go. Going to do them one at a time this time. Oh, here comes the ice cream truck. Got to park it up. 
Here comes the ambulance. There's two back and one more was our bakery car to make five all together. Shall we do one more before we finish? Yes, okay. Right, this time, close your eyes. Keep them close. No, don't peek. No peeking. Keep them close. Right, have a look. We only have one car in front of us. One, the ice cream truck. Can I please have some mint chocolate chip ice cream, please? Um, and in a, in a cornet. Um, and even a nice flake. Would that be all right? Oh, he said it would be £1.99. £1.99. Oh, what a nice ice cream. Right. One car in front of us. How many fingers do we need to put up? Do we need to add to make five all together? Let's count the fingers that are down. One, two, three, four. We had one. We've got four fingers hiding. One, two, three, four fingers that we need to put up to make five all together. Let's see that as a number sentence. One car, and we think that there are four cars in the garage that we need to bring back to make five all together. Are you ready? Bit tricky to remember what cars are in the garage. We've got the ice cream truck. Here we go. Here comes the post office car. Here we go again. Here comes the sports car. And the ambulance car. And last one, the bakery car. So we only had the ice cream truck. So four cars, one, two, three, four, went into the garage. But four, add one, makes five. Well done for your learning today. You, I hope you had lots of fun doing this yourself at home with different act objects. I wonder what you might choose today to represent those numbers. Have lots of fun. Keep going. Super learning.